Hello everybody, this is Zax399, another quick game review, this is called Anode, and I think this is going to be a really big game for any of you guys who used to love the Tetris games. Now I'll be completely honest, I never really got into Tetris, I always stunk at Tetris, and uh, this is another game like that. But if you love the Tetris games, this game looks to be just like Tetris, only better with explosions and diodes and matching up colors. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, and this is by Kitty Safe Software. The developers for this game uh, went ahead and gave me a copy of the game to actually showcase on my YouTube channel. I'm probably not the best guy for this particular game just because I never was a Tetris fan. Uh, and that might be partly because I always sucked at Tetris. But this game does look to be pretty fun. It does offer a lot of different choices here. You can play uh, local, local multiplayer. I don't think they have online multiplayer available, but you know, at least you have the option of you know playing with your friend or playing with you know somebody in your house or whatever. I want to go ahead and show you guys uh, the directions here that the, that's included in the game on how to play. Now it says uh, blocks fall from the top of the bin. You can move them left or right, rotate them, or drop them quickly. Blocks make links with adjacent blocks. If the colors match, this is a chain. Pretty simple there. Now the shiny flashing ones like this are detonators. It makes blocks of matching colors explode as long as you get it somewhere adjacent to your string of other colors. Now that detonation continues along the entire chain. Some rare detonators are white and will match any color. And so what they'll do is they'll blow up the whole sequence that you have or the chain of colors that you've chained up. Now if you detonate another chain within five seconds for a sequence bonus, uh, it'll keep getting bigger and the longer you keep the sequence going. So if you want to link up two different colors, you can use what's called a coupler, kind of like this. You can line these up and it'll actually link up any two colors uh, that are on the ends of these chains. Now, uh, it says that'll help you even create even bigger scores and connections and, and uh, it works on the side as well. Now, detonate a chain with more than seven links and you can earn an item. So you can earn... Uh, you know these kind of things that will actually help you continue to play without losing and just like Tetris when you get to the top of the screen I believe you lose now activating an item can help clear a bin give you more detonators stop your current block from falling destroy the bottom one and more now you can have up to four items at once it says in multiplayer mode two players are competitors multiplayer features additional items which can attack your opponent these can prevent them from rotating their block instantly add a row or add their block preview now detonate a chain more than two links long and the extra blocks will be sent to fill your opponent's bin look for lights at the bottom of your bin when all seven are lit you'll have a new row to contend with so that's pretty cool and different game types offer different leaderboards and playing without items is a different set as well make sure you check the leaderboards to see where you stand all right we're not going to have any leaderboards yet because nobody's playing this game because i am actually recording this video before this game even launches on steam so i want to go and thank kitty safe software again for that and we'll be back to play this game my first time right after this Welcome back, everybody. I want to go ahead and show you guys real quick. Uh, you got leaderboards, you got achievements, you got settings here uh, where you can actually go in and change your graphic settings to full screen, detail, anti aliasing, and your resolution, which is nice. You also have your input settings, uh, and these are pretty standard things. Go back. Pretty standard controls for like a Tetris game, pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and show you single player. In this, you have different game modes that you can actually play uh you can go endless where you know you play until you lose when blocks reach the top of the band the game is over mission challenge yourself to complete a series of objectives how many uh can you accomplish before your bin is full okay and then time attack play until the timer runs out how high can you score within the time limit compare your results to others on the online beauty leaderboards and then here is the enable items. You have this on pretty much every one. This is the items that you can actually win uh, by getting chain reactions or whatever that you can use to help clear your bin. And uh, 
you also have a timer here on the time attack and where you start and then race uh, play until you reach the goal score the faster you do it the better your ranking will be on the uh, on the board so you can actually set your score here as you can see enable items again and where you start at what level so we're going to go ahead and just show you the endless mode just to show you one of the modes that's available in the uh, single player campaign here remember that you do have local multiplayer as well and just like tetris here you have these different uh, shapes falling and you just use your arrow keys to move left and right up actually rotates and then uh, if you want to move it faster uh, you just push the down arrow key just like Tetris I know Tetris controls just like this so you can see these blue items are detonators those are what you want to actually use to blow up but they're only going to blow up a string of blue items here so if I go here uh, with my pink detonator you can see that this detonator as soon as it touches these other two penguins down at the bottom it's going to blow them up yep there they go and so what you're trying to do obviously is trying to link up as many uh in a you know in a row as you can before you actually blow them up for the most points don't have room for that so we'll just go ahead and go there i don't know we'll turn this up here like i say i was never any good at these uh tetris style games so i am probably not the best person to be uh, showcasing this game but as you can see here that uh, coupler there has linked up my green and my red one so I believe either a red or green detonator would blow those up now I haven't played this game very much at all as well I just kind of wanted to go ahead and show you guys what you were getting with uh, when you buy this game because uh, I looked on YouTube I didn't see any other videos about this game and uh, I wanted to go ahead and at least for Kitty Safe Software, who was nice enough to go ahead and throw me a copy of this game, uh, I would like to go ahead and show people at least what they're getting. And like I say, I think this is going to be a, a really cool game for those, those of you out there who ever love Tetris. And I know there's a lot of Tetris fans out there. And like I say, this is why I stink at this game, just because, you know, I just, I just never got into Tetris. There you see a big uh, kaboom. Try that. All right. Ah, oh, I missed that one. Dang it. All right. Let's bring this down here, blow up those red ones. Hmm. There we go. That'll help. There we go. Somehow I'm getting lucky now, I think. Pink detonator to blow all those up. Now I got a lot of blue ones connected at the bottom there. Uh, there we go. I guess that's good. I don't know. Got a green detonator at the top there. I haven't figured out how that's going to help me yet. This game is definitely going to take a little bit of a playthrough. I mean, playing it to get good at it. I think. I don't know, some of you guys might be pros right at the start, but it's definitely different enough from Tetris uh, that I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. But I also think that anybody who loved the old Tetris games would probably fall right in love with this and be right at home. Ah, darn it. There we go. We now got a blue detonator. I'll 
I'll put those there. That'll blow those three up. It won't give me a lot of points, but at least it'll knock some of this crap out. I think you guys can actually see kind of how this game works now. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and let this thing fill up or try to mess it up. And let this thing go ahead and get to the top if you can see how you lose. And the controls work magnificently. I mean, the game works. Uh, flawlessly. I'm just not any good at Tetris. I never have been. Sometimes with this game, I don't exactly know why things are exploding. Uh, but I trust that the game works fine. Like that, I knew why it was exploding because I had a blue detonator there. But I mean, I'm trying to fail now and I can't. So let me go ahead and just slap some stuff in here and let it just fall where it might. And just let you guys see how the game actually wraps up. There you go. So without moving things, that's gonna be the end of the game once you get to the top here in this uh, endless. That's when your game's over, you end up having to score. And then see, I had some uh, items here that I could have used as well, but yeah, I mean, I think that anybody... I'm not going to score this game just because this is not my kind of game and I wouldn't be able to give this game any fair score at all. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and at least put up a video, show you guys kind of what you're getting if you buy Anode uh, from Kitty Say Software. And they've made some really fun games before that I've actually uh, really liked. I still think anybody, any of you guys out there that love Tetris are probably going to really feel right at home with this game and probably really like the uh, difference that Anode provides here. So I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure you comment down below. Be sure you leave those ratings. Uh, you know, be sure you rate my video and give me a break, guys. Like I say, I know I was never good at Tetris. Tetris just isn't my game, but I did want to go ahead and show you guys Anode and show you how it works. Show you that the, the controls and everything like that are flawless and that it has several different modes that you can actually play through. And it looks really good. I mean, the explosions and everything like that uh, are definitely nice and the game looks nice. So good job again, Kitty Safe Software. Uh, thanks so much for making this game and for giving me a copy again. And thank you guys for watching. This has been Zaxxer99. Take care, everybody.